Very good. Chris Melvin. Hey. Um, sports analyst. Been since 2004. Um, out here to support Chester Jones at the TNA Center. Mm -hmm. um, my job today is just to get out there and to find that next up and coming, not just athlete, but student athlete. Wow. Because I, the first thing I talk to the kids about is our grades. Yes. Because you can't be an athlete until you became a student. Uh, so that's the first thing that I bring up to them. But uh, my job out here is about go around and evaluate the, the, the young, the youth, mm -hmm. and to see uh, exactly where their heads at, uh -huh. and to take it to the next level. I uh, brought a couple guys out here from the professional level. Mm -hmm. uh, one being Keith Newell, okay, from Trenton. Okay. Um, so he's a, a, a big part of this event, mm -hmm. um, and he was able to speak to a lot of the youth, and um, because he came from the same uh, foundation that they're coming from, mm -hmm. you know, so he was able to speak to them and explain, you know, the trials and tribulations that he went through, right, and and that they're going to go in life and they saw him as being an asset because he's from the same community that they grew up in love so it kudos to that guy and, but number one kudos to this guy for bringing us our island yeah chester's awesome so what has to happen is look i'm a, a teacher at trenton central high school so we're gonna have to link and make that happen to get you up into the high school to talk to the kids all right what's good with oh i gotta come over here i see a frat i see a frat over here <laughs> gotta come over here and get you I'm good in yourself. Are you Greek? Well, um, my husband is a Q, so I'm, I'm a Q. Oh, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, you know what? Don't stop. Y'all, y'all something else. Say, he knows how the sigmas are. Y'all frets are something else. Y'all are, but you know what? I love what y'all stand for too, especially community work like this here. That's key. Community services. That's our model. Yes, so, exactly. Culture for service, search for humanity, but it's all about community. So how do you? How do you feel about, first of all, my name is Linus Roars. I'm a radio personality. I'm born and raised in Trenton, New Jersey. So okay. anything that affects these kids, it affects me. And it should affect everyone, especially what's been going on with the murders, the senseless murders from the past to the present. And hopefully we can stop it from going into the future. Exactly. And by doing what y'all doing right now. So um, that's just, I want to get, you know, I have a live going on. Okay. Introduce yourself. Tell everybody how you feel about what's going on. Okay. And then I'll move over here. All right, yeah, well, first of all, my name is Chris Melvin. Um, I've been a, uh, a sports analyst um, for almost 20 years. Mm -hmm. um, so ironically, a uh, co-worker of mine, Chester Jones, is running the CEO of the TMA Center. Um, so he told me about the event. Um, I, Ironically, I know a lot of um, student athletes. I never want to say athlete, I always say student athletes. Because, right. like I was speaking to a couple of kids out here today, young men out here today is that you're not a an athlete um, until you become a student, okay. you see? So I never use the word athlete, I always say student athlete. But ironically, uh, I'm not sure you saw the massive 6'6", 340-pound guy who was here, no. Keith Newell. No, I just got here, so I, mi I missed oh, him. Oh, you missed him. I'm not I sure missed how him. you missed him. But, uh, <laughs> well, that's that size, you can't miss him. But. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I actually uh, mentor mm -hmm. a lot of uh, young men. Mm -hmm. um, been doing it for like I stated 20, 20 plus years. I'm originally from the shore, originally from Red Bank. Okay. Um, but it doesn't matter where you're from. It's uh, where you community, at. The community. Right. Um, but he actually went off the Rutgers. I mentored him, helped him out, things of that sort. And uh, I can probably name another five guys, and they're from Trenton alone. Okay. Um, so Keith actually came back out. He played. Uh, he just retired from playing professional football okay. last last year. Um, so he came out to speak to some of the kids and mm -hmm. to to speak to Chester and to help uh, not launch but uh, enhance his, his his vision. You know, so he's actually going to be helping uh, Chester out. He's a, a Trenton Central graduate, 2007. Okay. Um, we got a couple other guys out here from EB Fit. Um, he's from Trenton. He graduated in 2000. That bench is doing the basketball program out here. Okay. He's also from Trenton, 2000. Listen sure at that, Trenton, Trenton, Trenton. Listen at that. Yes. That's what it's about. It's, it is. Um, it's a lot but, of talent here. But you got a lot of volunteers out here from different um, uh, parts of the state. You know, so it's not just about Trenton. Yeah. It's just about helping out the community. Coming together. We're here for Trenton right now. Thank you. Because we... Know? My town definitely needs it. And, and like I said, it's going to take all of us from different parts of the cities and states. And I am grateful to see what's going on out here today. As I was um, I stated every to when I talked to, I started a campaign of my own called Hip Hop Against Violence. Okay. And I for two years, I, uh, I had it here in Trenton. And I've been asked to take it 
bring it to other places because it's not just Trenton where these senseless murders is happening. It's happening all over. Yes. So the campaign just doesn't stop in one place. But uh, as for myself, I would love to join anyone that's doing something great in my city or any other city to help save our babies. That's important to me. It is because you know what the saying is. It takes a village. A village. To, uh, yes. It, it takes a village to, to, to run a, a mini. A, let's put it this way. Everything. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's not true. just a city no more. Yeah, it's not yeah. just. It takes a village. And the parents has to really step up and be involved. Yeah, that's number one. Um, okay. But some, you know, but just because the parents are involved doesn't mean that you have to turn your shoulder on that, 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 you, that individual. That's right. Uh, sometimes it's, it's not the parent that's going to be the house, but someone else in the community. Mm -hmm. And that's why mm -hmm. um, Chester, doing, Chester Jones doing something like this is a valuable asset to, to not just uh, Trenton, but just to today's society as a whole. Exa you know, I was saying the other day, um, I, I had talked to a, a best friend of my son's. And um, because of my talk with him, he made a decision. It's like my son made this. We can talk all day, and but it's at, it's up to them at the end of the day when you're old enough to make your decision. Well, these two young men right now are overseas in the in the U.S. Army, and I am so proud because sometimes it don't have to be you don't have to be the parent talking to the child. It could be someone else, someone else, anyone else. And um, this young man, grandmother and mother came back and thanked me. They said, they didn't know where he came from when he just came in and said he's joining. And he loves it now. It doesn't It doesn't always have to be the parent that's speaking to the child. It could be a mentor, someone you never met before that can help you get to that decision because you're lost. So, again, it takes all of us. It could be a pastor. It could be a teacher. It could be a uh, neighbor. It, 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 it can be a close friend. Yes. You know, um, you know, age, there's no... Uh, Limit on age. No. Sometimes you got a peer that can be, can be influential right. in, your, in your life. Do you you so, you, so, you can have ex? What I said, people that have been in prison and came back and changed their lives. Ex uh, gang members. They have a lot of their experience where they can say you don't have to go that route. Mm -hmm. You know, and it again, it's all of us. No one is perfect. No one is perfect. But that's, that's why it was great to have Keith out here because he's he grew up in this element, you know, uh -huh. and, and he uh, was able to sit down and talk to these young men and young women out mm -hmm. here, young ladies out here, you know, right. you know um, just the youth as in his, as a whole, and explain to them what he went through, right. you know, his trial and tribulations, but he still made it. There you go. You know, you got, um, you know, Holland Pierce, who's also uh, a former uh, Trenton Central uh, student athlete, who's at Rutgers. Okay. You know, he couldn't make it today, but he had some words that he delivered to me the last night to make sure that Chester uh, repeated his his words to the to the attendees today. So right. I guess you'll be hearing about the words that he delivered um, after at the end of the uh, the event. But right. uh, there's a lot of uh, successful individuals from Trenton, um, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, there's a lot more individuals from Trenton who aren't able to see you tomorrow. You know, and that's the sad part. And that's the sad part, exactly. So uh, TMA makes a difference. Thank you, thank you, Th thank you all for what you're doing. Thank you so much. And I see you 